Okay, it's a beautiful day. And I want to tell you about Once Upon a Time. This is uh, the Me Dion on the left and the Mona Lisa on the right. And Once Upon a Time, she was a young girl. She grew up to be an older woman, and which is on the left. And it is a love of Leonardo da Vinci. It is hidden works. You won't believe it, but there's over 500 YouTubes of mine out there regarding these two paintings and other works of his that are identical. He was a trickster. It's, some, it's just like you look at the front cover of a telephone directory and, and you look at uh, the front cover of the um, uh, Mona Lisa and uh, they're the same. Uh, they're hidden in different layers. And if you follow my YouTubes, you're going to find out uh, how he hid them. Um, and extremely difficult to uh, show. But my previous YouTube showed um, uh, um, a much more uh, uh, definite uh, 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 site for the actual individuals who are unaware of his um, ways of trying to manipulate the uh, eye. Uh, a lot of his works, uh, if and as I know uh, to you, is that when you see it and for the first time and me to say that is identical, um, yes, uh, it, it has resemblance. I can see it in your part that you would say. But if you were to follow his works or see it in person off the 4K screen, it's about a 55 inch, you end up um, seeing it better than you do off your phone. But what I mean is, is that you got to know his style. Like when you go to a circus and you end up seeing the artist that makes you and he puts a big old droopy low nose and long slinky hair and he gives you this wobbly looking legs and stuff and you go, that's not me as a portrait, but that's me as a cartoon and that's him. He was a cartoonist. So what I'm going to show you what's identical in these two paintings you're going, you're going to um, know that it's identical in these two paintings. This is an x-ray of the Mona Lisa. This is half, half the side of her face with her eye. And we're going to be working again on this looking person chair deal. And then we're going to also be looking at this doggy right here. This is doggy in here. And you're going to be seeing this angel I call it with a wing and a wing with a long man's neck with an eye and a nose very funny cartoonish okay a lot of these things are cartoons that make the Mona Lisa you can see how she's turning into a portrait well he puts tons trillions of images like this and he puts them over the top and it finally makes his beauty queen so I'm gonna put this down off the side so that's an image in which we're gonna be seeing that set this is an image of the um, uh, me Dion, which I just showed you, which shows his arm here and her um, uh, hat, which looks like a chair, which is where the Mona sits in here in one of the images, which is this. And she's right here. Here she is. And then his arm coming and so. So we put that off for you to know what we're going to deal in in this particular area and out of this particular area we're going to be working with this to be in the chair this being the cartoon dog and we're going to be seeing that this image that is a shadow of the image of the angel then we're going to jump to this right here to be in Salvatore Mundi the image that's in the Mona in another x-ray so this is the one that's preset of the Mona, this is the preset of the Medion, and you overlay the two right over these images right here, and they're a hundred percent fit in the two. See, you see, it looks like a chair. He fits the eyes fit. See, these are like eyes; they move everywhere. One, two, three eyes in a, in a cartoon. And then when you take a look, okay. <clears throat> you'll see you'll see see what he does is he moves his items this image in which we're talking about and this image also 
Watch. You put this over and it fits 100%. See, see the dog? Dog, dog. See the dog, dog.